Hello math wizards! Today, we're going to study about factoring step-by-step -step explanation the easy way. So before that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, so let's have our first example. Factor x squared plus 4x minus 12. So, paano natin ipa-factor ang ganito example? So, okay, solution. The first thing we should do ay, okay, rewrite lang muna natin. And then, ang gagawin natin, yung dulong number, which is 12 or negative 12, kukunin natin lahat ng factors ng negative 12. Ano-ano ba yung mga factors ng negative 12? So, ibig sabihin ng factor is when you multiply them, the result would be negative 12. So, meron tayong 12 times 1, 12 times 1, pero yung 12 kanina, positive, ngayon naman, yung negative, yung kanina, positive yung 12, and then negative yung 1. So, ngayon, negative naman yung 12, positive naman yung 1. We have 6 times 2, and 3 and 4. Take note, kapag maghanap tayo ng factors, ng, let's say, a negative number, pag maghanap tayo ng factors ng negative number, yung isang number is positive, the other one is negative. The other one is negative, the other one must be positive. So, kapag nakita, nakuha na natin lahat ng factors ng, ng 12, negative 12, ang gagawin natin, uh, look for the pair na when you add them, the result must be positive 4. So, as, asan kaya dyan na when you add them, the result must be positive 4? So, this one. Ito yun, na kapag pinag-add mo, ang sagot is positive 4. So, therefore, ito na yung magiging sagot natin. x plus 6 and x minus 2. Okay? So, therefore, the factor of x squared plus 4x, oh, error, this is, this is negative 12, is x plus 6 and x minus 2. Okay? Another example, factor x squared minus 3x plus 18. So, rewrite lang muna natin. Ang gagawin natin, we need to find all the factors ng 18. So, eto, eto, eto yung mga factors ng 18. So, kanina, mapapansin mo na kapag uh, factor ng negative number ang kinukuha natin, the other one is positive, the other one is negative. So, it's either the other one is negative, the other one is positive. Pero kapag ang hinahanap natin naman na factor is positive number, ganito ang gagawin natin. So, itong side na to mga positive lahat, and the other one is both numbers are negative. Kasi alam natin na when we multiply negative and negative, the answer is, is positive. So, meron na tayong mga factors ng 18. So, pag nakita na, kuha na natin yung factors ng 18, ang gagawin natin, asan dito, yung numbers, na when you add them, or yung pair of numbers, na when you add them, the result is negative 9. Okay. So, yun ay ang negative 3 and negative 6. So, pag in natin ang negative 3 at negative 6, ang sagot natin is negative 9. So, therefore, ayun na yung sagot natin. x minus 3 and x minus 6. So, therefore, the factor of x squared minus 9x plus 18 is x minus 3 and x minus 6. Okay, so you try this one. Okay, so you can post the video and then solve for the uh, solution or solve for the answer and then check your work. Okay, so for this one, x squared minus 5x plus 6, ano yung factors ng 6? So kapag, kapag kabisado mo naman na, pwedeng hindi ka na mag-list. So ano yung factors ng 6? Now when you add them, the result is negative 5. So that would be negative 3 and negative 2. Okay, so x minus 3 and x minus 2. So, for the other one, negative 9, the, the result, when you multiply them, the result is negative 9. But when you add them, the result is negative 8. So, what's that? That would be x minus 9 and x plus 1. Okay, next. Factoring naman using the AC method. So, how, how does it work or how this works? For example, my coefficient na yung x squared mo. 4x squared minus 5x minus 6. So, paano natin isosolve ang ganitong problem kapag may number na yung, or may coefficient na yung x squared mo? So, una, rewrite lang una natin. And then, 
the next thing we should do is identify natin sino yung letter A, letter B, and letter C. So, yung letter A natin is 4. Letter B natin is negative 5. Letter C ay negative 6. So, kapag nakuha na natin yung value ng A, B, and C, ang gagawin natin, we need to multiply we need to multiply the value of A and C. So, ano yung value ng A and C? So, the value of A is 4. The value of C ay negative 6. Multiply them together. 4 times 6. The answer is negative 24. So, kapag nakuha na natin yung product ng A and C, ang next na gagawin natin is we need to find all the factors ng negative 24 or the factors of 24, negative 24 rather, now, when we add them, the result must be negative 5. Okay? So, ito yung mga factors ng negative 24. So, kapag pinag-add daw natin, the result is negative 5. So, therefore, ayun ay the pair ng 3 and negative 8. Pag pinag-add natin yan, the result is negative 5. Yan. So, copy lang natin. So, ang next na gagawin natin, etong negative 5x, papalitan natin ng 3x minus 8x or minus 8x plus 3x. Okay. So, this becomes 4x squared minus 8x plus 3x minus 6. So, bakit nauna si 8x and not si 3x? Kasi, if if a factor din natin yung both sides ng, or yung yung pair ng uh, yung pair ng equation na ito, or yung trinomial na ito. So, ang gagawin natin, syempre, ipapartner natin yung dalawang number na alam natin na factorable sila. Kasi kapag si 3 ang nilagay natin dito, o, walang factor ang 4 and, and 3 except 1. So, ilalagay natin siya in a way na uh, factorable siya. So, ang ginawa ko, pinartner ko si 4x, tsaka 8x, 3x, at tsaka negative 6. Okay. Okay, factor ko yung 4x squared minus 8x, naging 4x, x minus 2. So, to check, multiply lang natin. 4x times x, 4x squared. 4x minus 2, negative 8x. Other one. Okay, so yung factor ng 3x minus 6 ay 3 times x minus 2. Check natin. 3 times x, 3x. And then, 3 times negative 2, negative 6. Okay, so, ang next na gagawin natin, I-copy natin yung 4, 4x, ayan, plus yung number na nandito, plus 3, and then, i-prepare natin siya sa x minus 2. So, copy as 1 ang x minus 2. So, therefore, the factor of 4x squared minus 5x minus 6 ay 4x plus 3, I mean the quantity of 4x plus 3, and times the quantity of x minus 2. Okay. Another example ulit using the AC method. Sulat lang natin. And then, anong gagawin natin? Identify natin si A, B, and C. Okay? And then, multiply A and, C, A and C. Sagot natin is 20. So, what are the factors of 20? Now, when we add them, the result is negative 12. So, that would be negative 10 and negative 2. Okay? Copy lang natin. Oops. Copy lang natin. And then, yung negative 12x, papalitan natin ng negative 10x minus 2. So, nirite ko siya in this way. 4x squared minus 2x minus 10, 10x plus 5. So, bakit? Para si 4 and 2x, that could be factorable the AC way. And then, 10x and 5. So, this becomes 2x times 2x minus 1 minus 5 times 2x minus 1. I repeat, pinag-pair ko si 4x and 2 4x squared and 2x para kasi alam kong there's common between them. And then 10x and 5. Kasi kapag si 2x ang pinair ko kay 5, uh, 1 lang yung uh, factor nilang dalawa. So therefore, ang sagot natin ay 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 1. So, pansin niyo bakit naging minus 5? Minus 5 kasi negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Negative 5 times 1, I mean negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. So, therefore, the factor of 4x squared minus 12x plus 5 
is the quantity of 2x minus 5 and 2x minus 1. Okay, try this one. You can pause the video and then check your answer. So the correct answer for this one is 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 5. Okay, then you learn something. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and comment. Thank you for watching.